We're in San Diego, California, and it's all about great food. We're going to be traveling, oh, we're making a whole bunch of videos in Southern California, and it's all about finding the best eats. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. We're making our way all around the city. We're north of the city now. I'll chuck up some shots of things we're having across this series. There's a number of videos, so hit subscribe. You'll see all the great food there is to eat here. We're just having a great time, eating great food. First stop today is for a burger. We're in an area called Crown Point and we've come to a place called Rockies. I did a ton of research in advance of eating here because I knew we're doing a US series, we had to show great burgers. And Rockies came up every time when I was searching best burgers in San Diego. Everyone loves this place. Let's head in and order, I'm pumped. Sheena does pretty much all the eating research for the channel. She knows me very well, she's very kind to me. She knows I adore burgers. She's put a lot of effort into this one. We've talked about this place a lot. It looks great, super neat inside, pub style. Oh, everyone's lined up on the bench, but we're outside, enjoying the fresh air, and bring on the burgers. Let's grab a cheeseburger, the third. Small one as well? Yes, please. Okay. Um, and do you do salsa? Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bears are up. Sparkling water for Sheena because she's pregnant. This place has a great feeling about it. Is it really old? Yes, it's been around since uh, for about 40 years, okay. just over 40 so years. I didn't know that, and but I can feel it. You can tell that everything's used in a good way. It's got like history in it, so the just the look of the walls and stuff. It's it's a neat place to be, and I can smell wafts coming from the uh, kitchen, smelling real good. Whoa! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. We Anything will. Else? No, it's back sorted. Back. Thank Thanks, you. mate. Thank you. So, the goods have arrived. Thomas went for the lunch special. So it's a third pound of cheeseburger, fries, and a pint uh, of beer. And I just went for classic cheeseburger, third pounder as well, because I'm gonna nab a few of his fries. Man. They look epic. Just a simple burger, I can tell just by looking at it. Just the basics is what I love most. This is the perfect looking burger. It is so well put together. This is the burger that if you had a piece of burger art in your house, <laughs> this is what it would look like. Oh man. I am so excited to eat this. It's a classic beef burger, beef patty. Cheese, we went with the cheeseburger option, you can go either way. I'm gonna, basically, I'm gonna add everything. So, let's get tomato sauce on there. We'll mustard it up as well. They put pickles on the side. I'm just gonna smoosh that sauce in a bit. Pickles on the side, I'm going pickles in the burger. What have we got? Lay it up here. Lettuce, tomato, mayo, red onion, uh, beef, patty, cheese, and now pickles, mustard, sauce. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, my God. We've been very lucky to travel the world to eat. There's some dishes that sit in the back of your mind and they're things you'd travel for. you dream about them. You'd go back to a city, back to a country, just to eat them. That's one. I'm two bites in and it's already one. Great flavor, smokiness from the grill, perfect amount of fattiness, vegetables are super crisp, onions are cut thick, so you're getting that bite of the onion. Oh my God. I'm glad I added the mustard, the sauce, tanginess, a bit more sweetness. Oh, that is so good. What a cool place, what a cool burger. Great chips, skin's on, nice crispy bits. Look at this thing, far out, that's delicious. 
We're just north of the, the center of San Diego for these burgers. A car would be super handy here. We don't have a car. We're just cruising around on the bus and the trolleys. Public transport's work the treat. Getting us to food like this. Enjoying it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a must eat in San Diego. <laughs> it is so good. And it's going down very well with a beer. <laughs> that was unbelievably good. Absolutely and utterly delicious burger. I would go there in a heartbeat anytime. I'd go tomorrow. <laughs> I'd go right now again. <laughs> I'd definitely go right now again. So good. <laughs> we're heading back to the center now, aren't we? Yeah, we're heading for a suburb called Gas Lamp. We're aiming for some delicious Mexican food. We've eaten at this place before. It is knock your socks off. We've caught the bus to the Gas Lamp Quarter. Gas Lamp Quarter comes alive at night. It's a lively place with lots of bars, clubs, restaurants, but we are here for tacos. San Diego sits right in the southwest corner of the US, right by the Mexican border, to the point where you can get the, the trolley bus, yeah. which we were just on to get to here. If we'd stayed on it, we would have ended up at the border. That means Hi. Mexican food going? here is incredible. There's so much good Mexican food. We've eaten here before. It is great. We have to show you. This is some awesome tacos. This place is great. How it works is that there are three different stations. So you've got the Arubada station, which is that meat, that pork that you see on the trompo there. Vertically stacked meat, which has been marinated. Then you move over to the section where there's things like um, beef head, tripe, uh, tongue. And then you go over to the grill section where there's kind of out of tacos and then the drinks and then you pay so grab your food and then you get in line to pay and one moolas please with, with everything and with uh, some piña please but you like everything yeah please thank you muchas gracias yeah. ah. And we've ended up with a tray of so much goodness. So we worked our way along the line to get all the different styles that we wanted. And then you come to the counter at the end and just pay for what you've got on your tray. Once you've got your goods, you can load up with limes at the lime station. And there's also some cut radishes as well. We're from New Zealand and limes are often 50 bucks a kilo, 40, 50 bucks a kilo. This blows our mind. This is lime dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. I love tacos al gordo. Everything is just right there in front of you. The meat on the spit, they're making the tortillas fresh, the bubbling pots of uh, offal. It is just a whirlwind for the senses and it smells so good in there. Like Thomas said, we stacked up our tray. We went for carne asada tacos. So carne asada is grilled steak. Tacos de cabeza, so beef head tacos. Then we got a couple of things from the Ado Bada section, which is that spicy pork, which is on that vertical spin. So it's very much like Al Pastor tacos, but a slightly different marinade on the meat. Got some pineapple on the side to add to those tacos. And then we got this, which is a mulita, a cross between a quesadilla and a taco. So see that cheese in there? That's got that same spicy pork in the middle. And then we've got some onions and some peppers. This has honestly been one of my favorite stops here in San Diego. This taco, the first time we ate it, it just blew me away. So they asked me if I wanted everything on it. I said yes, of course. So you've got the thinly sliced pork, you've got coriander, onion, the salsa. I've added some pineapple. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. That is a flavor explosion. It transports me straight back to Mexico. Double tortilla. That has flavor, you know? It just has, it's not just a vessel for the, for the um, filling. It's got real strong corn flavor. That meat is so juicy. All of the trimmings, it's everything you want in a taco. Mmm. Mmm.
Tacos de cabeza for me, uh, beef head tacos loaded with coriander or cilantro, uh, some onion just diced up on there. Mm. Mm. Very juicy meat, juicy, soft. How could this be bad? Look at this tray of food. The colour, the vibrancy in it. I've spent a lot of time in Mexico eating some great food and man alive. This just takes me straight back to those those flavours. It's it's such a joy to eat this type of food. Mm. Oh man. It's delicious. Thomas would never forgive me if I didn't share this mulita with him, so I've cut this bad boy in half. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, the cheese definitely adds a extra special something, and it's gone all crispy and golden. Wow, stacked with that spicy pork again, salsa, cilantro, onions, whoa, that is epic. Truly delicious food. Remember down below, if you want more information of prices, where we're eating, that sort of thing, all the information is in the YouTube description. Oh, look at this. <laughs>to Cali Cream next for ice cream. Our friends brought us here the other night and it was absolutely beautiful. Locally owned and operated. Let's head in. We've just walked a few minutes from the taco shop so these places are very close together and yeah the ice cream is good. Real good. Let's go see what we want to get. What flavours? They have something like 77 flavours. They're all listed on this sheet here. I'm gonna go for two real American favourites deep dish apple pie and Graham Central Station. Mm -mm. Hi, how are you going? Two scoops. Um, one of deep dish apple pie and the other one Graham Central Station. Sure. Yeah, cool. I like the untraditional setup in here as well. It's not ice cream lined up at the counter to look at. It's all sort of hidden away in these, so it adds a bit of surprise because all these freezers are filled with all those flavours. So you have to order off the menu, so you get a little bit of surprise as to the visuals of what you're ordering. Thank you. Look at this. I'm loving American portions when it when it comes to ice cream. So I ordered two scoops. There's like four scoops in here. So on the bottom is deep dish apple pie, and on the top is Graham Central Station. Graham crackers are what Americans use to make s'mores. They also crush them up and use them for pie bases. And this scoop of ice cream has got tons of chocolate drops in it. All right. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh. It's got a really sweet biscuity flavour. You can really taste that graham cracker. If you have watched our channel before, you'll know that I am an ice cream fiend. And this is great ice cream. It's just wholesome. It tastes real, you know? It's just delicious. Mmm. Oh. That apple pie. Vanilla base. Beautiful apple flavour throughout. And then you've got chunks of the pie crust. Oh, this is going down a treat. What a day of eating. We decided to just share a cup. Really regretting <laughs> that life choice. <laughs> I might need to pop in and get a cup for myself. Great day filming. Remember, this is a series of videos, so check out the rest. Subscribe for more to come. So much great food here. We hope you're enjoying our American adventure. We also filmed up in LA, so check out that video. Thank you for watching this one. Oh, great food. I'm still dreaming of that burger.
Oh, that burger. Everything though. Ice cream, amazing. Yeah. Tacos, amazing. Burger, amazing. What a day of eating.